Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. India's own CAR T cell therapy. So, since the news is related with science and technology and development of science and technology, uh, under prelims it is linked with the general science. Similarly, under mains it is linked with achievements of Indian in, Indians in science and technology and indigenization of technology and developing of new technology. CDSO, SEO that is Central Drug Standard Control Organization has granted market authorization for the next CAR which is the CAR T therapy being which was developed by Immunac which is the company incubated by IIT Bombay and it is going to be the first India's indigenously developed CAR T cell therapy. So, okay, what is this CAR T cell therapy? It is the immune cell, it, that is, it is the immune cell modification technique where it will be modifying the immune cell, especially T cell and it turns them into a killer cell that is killing the, the cancer cells. So, what is this T cell? Is? This T cell is nothing but the white blood cell that can fight against the illness that is the the cells that are spreading the illness inside the body. So, what difference it has from the, the prevailing chemotherapy is the chemotherapy or the immunotherapy will take some more years when compared to this CAR T therapy in terms of its redu reduction of illness. And then the CAR T cell as I said it, it will have it will it, it requires lesser number of time for curing of cancer and at the same time once it is cured that is it is cured only it, it will it will most of the time what they are saying is that nearly it, it has 70 percentage success rate and it, it, it might have the long term benefits compared to the chemo and immunotherapy where it, it, it might have the short term benefits because there are chances that the cancers, cancers may reoccur in the chemo and immunotherapy. But in the case of CAR T cell it is mostly of one time, one time treatment, the one time treatment means once if we are treated with the CAR T cell therapy then the uh, can, cancer will not be arising afterwards and it will have a long term benefits because of the lack of occurrence after some period of time. So, what does this next CAR 19 that, that is India's CAR T cell therapy which has been developed by the IIT Bombay incubator and then which has been approved recently by our drug, uh, drug control regulator. It is a type of CAR T therapy and it has been developed by as I said immuno act uh, no, which is incubated by IIT Bombay as I said it will be targeting CD9 protein which is which acts like a flag in the cancer cell. So, it is a, if it is a cancer cell means the protein will be present here. So, it will act as a flag. So, if it is present means then then, uh, then the remodified immune cell will think that will through this CD19 will identify the cancer cell and it will be killing those cancer cells as a result of which the cancer producing cells will get destroyed within the body immediately. And it is the India is the first developing countries going to have this kind of technology indigenously. It is only a handful of developed countries even though other developed countries are borrowing from or importing this technology from US or certain handful of country from U Europe. Only some uh, developed countries only are having this kind of technology. Among developing countries it is India is going to have this technology. And to whom this next car 19 is going to be treated is B cell lymphomas patient who does not respond to the standard chemotherapy or immunotherapy treatment and it is to the people who belong to 15 or more than the 15 years of age. So, this is how the process in terms of the CAR T cell therapy will be will be there. So, the first the patient will be visiting the clinic and then 
with his concern he will be giving his blood for testing to the clinic once the blood has been given the blood goes to the lab where the t cells or the genetic t cells that is present inside the blood blood will be genetically modified and uh, after one uh, one week or 10 days it will be the remodified blood will be coming back to the clinic and then the patient also should come back to the clinic where the remodified blood will be reinjected to him so that the recovery starts happening once the blood the modified t cell blood that has been injected inside the human body once after the the modified t cell been injected inside the patient's body the recovery starts from there and it has other advantages apart from the one time treatment it has other advantages like low drug related toxic toxicity and then minimal amount of damage to the neuron see it is going to kill the cancer cell by seeing the cd9 protein sometimes the cd9 protein might be present in the brains also if there are chances that this drug may enter into the brain and cause the neuron related problem but during the testing it was said that it it has not uh, made any kind of such neuron related problem during the testing so in the ground reality in the ground when we test, tested in uh, humans as well as animals also it doesn't show any kind of the neuron related problem so it is safe to use so that is the reason why it has been approved by cdsco and then minimum cytokine release syndrome that is the hyperinflation that will be happening in the body because of excessing excessive death of the cancer related cells which is not the case with the car t cell therapy so these are all the three potential benefits apart from the one time treatment benefit being provided by the car t cell therapy so currently the price varies between 32 40 lakhs and once the technology been developed and it is been delegated and democratized to most part of the country and it is reached the uh, maximum amount of scale then it could be reduced to lower than the rate which is right now been available and uh, this is what the news and the analysis of the car t cell therapy is about so what we need to study further is we should know about the covid 19 what does this covid 19 is about and what we have to know about the entire aspect of the covid 19 secondly we should also know about the human cells what is the difference between human cell plant cell as well as animal cell and then the structure function as well as mandate of cdsco so these are all the other areas which we need to be aware of <laughs>